And they watch Friends reruns and drink milkshakes. Oh. Well, your father made it, it would appear. And you know the story? What? The skunk, the porcupine, and the concubine. Probably the best wedding present I'll ever get. But... Caroline Collingwood. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, <laughs> Your Excellency. <laughs> Gregory Hirsch. Greg. You're Greg Egg. Excuse me? You're Greg the Egg. When you were born, you looked like a little misshapen egg. <laughs> Thank you for coming down. Yeah, well, just following orders. I cannot see. Mm -hmm. So now I hear he is coming. No. Oh. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, come on. No, no, um, no, it's fine. Just hope you won't forget about me. When your father arrives with the head of his Middle Eastern operations. Marsha? Yeah, Marsha. Do you still find her a bit, you know? I'm concerned that maybe you're rushing this. So what do you expect me to survive on? Macaroni and memorial services. Hi. Hello. Oh. Roman, you know Peter. Yep. Oh. Peter, Roman's worried in case I'm throwing myself away. Mm. <laughs> he thinks I'm enthralled to you. And so what, what, what is your son getting? And what is your ex-husband, who you hate, getting? Oh, please don't get on your high horse. It's not me. I don't mind. It's Bridezilla. So, Greg Egg. Uh, How long do you give it? Uh, I'm sorry? The marriage. How long do you give it? Oh, is there doubt afoot? I mean, I for one think they look solid as a rock. There you go, I'm just an old romantic. Gotcha. So, how are you? I might just as well ask you if you're going to go into all that. Uh, I like your girlfriend, Rome. Oh, thank you. Hey. I met her at a sex party where she was giving the groom a blowjob. <laughs> you should marry that one. Excuse me? Police and Crime Commissioner. That's right. Anyway, he knew your father and me back when he was doing something even more boring. Goodness me, we've just come back from the front. Yeah, just felt like it. Oh. I'm stripping down. <laughs> it's nice. Just to get things straight, am I right that the father, I understand the father... Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not well. He's not well. Yeah, that's the story. Everyone remember the story. Hello. Oh. Caroline Collingwood, mother of the bride. Oh, hi. I'm Stewie. So, how long do you give it? <laughs> uh, I'd say forever. Or until Shiv goes away for the week. Whichever comes first. Excuse me. You beast. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Nothing, Mum. There's a number. Ah, here we go. The chiseling begins. This'll be good. How much can we screw out of our dear old mother? So, shall we go and play Happy Families? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done on Tom. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Tell me again why you're marrying him. Oh, come on. <laughs> Joking. I like, I like him. First time I've had you in from the night in a decade. It's just a shame it's so you can put the squeeze on me for your father. No, it's not like that. No? No. Tell me, what does it feel like being sent here to wheedle out your mother? <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not getting involved. She's right. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. A bit of solidarity. 20 years too late, but never mind. I hear you're asking how long you give it. Just a cheeky icebreaker. Okay, well, it's pretty fucking horrible. It's not all about you, Shiv. Other people need something to say. Okay, well, can you ask them about the price of fucking fish instead? Peter, I think you better face it that Logan is not going to make it. You might have to just make do with me, sorry. <laughs> how about that? Can you bear it? Of Hello. Tom. Hi. Gosh, look at you. You're very plausible. Oh, thank you. Exactly. 